Welcome to the ADAS platform channel. In this video, we'll discuss the cluster statistic indicator, which provides detailed statistics for each bar below the price chart. Using this tool, you can get data on volume and bar delta, compare data across clusters, and spot large trades. To add the cluster statistic indicator in the ADAS platform, open the indicator manager, select cluster statistic, then click add in OK. Now, let's look at the data displayed by the indicator. There are over 15 parameters in total. Ask. This line shows the total trading volume executed at ask prices during the period. Bid. This is the trading volume executed at bid prices. Delta. This is the difference between trades executed at ask and bid prices. Delta divided by volume. This is the percentage that delta represents of the total volume of the bar. Session delta. This is the difference between asks and bids calculated from the start of the trading session up to the close of the specific bar. Session delta divided by volume. This is the percentage of session delta in relation to the volume. Max delta. This is the maximum ask imbalance recorded during the formation of the bar. Min delta. This is the maximum bid imbalance recorded during the formation of the bar. Delta change. This is the difference between the delta of the current candle and the delta of the previous one. Volume. Basic information about trading volume within a bar. Volume slash second. The ratio of volume to time. This can be useful for charts with non-standard time frames. Session volume. The accumulated volume or the total volume across all bars since the start of the session. Trades. The number of trades executed within a bar. Bar height. The difference between the high and low. Time. The time the bar opened. Duration. The duration of the candle in seconds. Last but not least, in the indicator settings you can change. Colors and other visualization parameters. Criteria for alerts that trigger when the volumes or delta reach the values you're interested in. We hope you found this video helpful.